Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to extend a warm welcome to each one of you to the second edition of World Food India 2023. Today, we convene in a nation where the journey of growth and innovation has been nothing short of prolific. With a booming economy and the achievement of significant milestones, India stands today as a land of plenty, the land of opportunities, steering the global food value chain with a rich resource base. In light of a celebration of 2023 as the International Year of Millets and to bring the global food processing industry together, the Ministry of Food Processing Industries proudly presents the second edition of World Food India 2023. Our journey commences with an exciting exploration of a country session featuring the Vietnam. India and Vietnam have shared a profound and enduring friendship marked by a history of collaborations in various sectors. The Vietnam country session focuses on the theme a trusted partnership for Indian food industry. As we delve into the session, we aim to strengthen and celebrate the symbiotic relationship recognizing the shared potential for growth and innovation that it holds. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our moderator for the session, Mr. Bill Jung Tuang, Councillor, Head of Trade Office of the Vietnam Embassy in India. Ladies and gentlemen, very good morning to you all. Namaskar and Sita. Welcome to our Vietnam country session at the first World Food India Expo 2023. It's our honor to have you all here today. As we gather to explore and celebrate the rich community, estate, and agricultural diversity of Vietnam, the session marks a significant opportunity to dip into the flavor tradition and innovation that make Vietnam a sunny star in the global landscape. Joining us today, we have honor to have Mr. Atul Kumar Sasana, the President of Indian Chamber of Commerce Industry. We have Mr. Lin Vicker, Chairman of 365 Group and Vietnam International Entrepreneur Network Club. We have Mr. Ravi Madam Sinha, Director of MSME, Business Forum. We have Mr. Wilson Hai, CEO of Kulao uh, Fish. <laughs> we have Mr. Nguyen, who are from, uh, Mr. Nguyen, who are from Dio uh, Dragon, United States. And uh, we are thank you all of you as for here today. Vietnam. A country known for vibrant culture and rich history have come to the tradition that are deeply rooted in this culture tapestry. From the bustling street of Hanoi to the serene Mekong Delta, Vietnam cuisine so get a remarkable fusion of flavor, drawing from the diverse range of influence. Today. We aim to uncover the extent of Vietnam food story in unique ingredients, traditional cooking method, and the country's journey towards sustainability, innovation, and global food security. Vietnam has continuously demonstrated in a commitment to agricultural advancement and sustainable practice, setting an inspiring example for the rest of the world. Through the system, we hope we set light on the remarkable agricultural practice, abundance of fresh food, and innovative strategies that have made Vietnam a crucial player in the global food markets. Furthermore, we will explore potential partnerships and check opportunities and the value for collaboration that could benefit for Vietnam, India, and global food industry. Our esteemed panel of experts and industry leaders will share their insight, experience, and vision for the future, and will invite, educate, and engage us in fruitful discussion. This is a moment to learn, to exchange ideas, 
and cost connection that will contribute to more sustainable, diverse, and inclusive global food ecosystem. So let us embark on this enlightening journey to the cultural landscape of Vietnam and explore the incredible potential it holds for world food industry. Thank you for being a part of the, this momentous session and I hope it will be both informative and inspiring for all of us. Enjoy the session. Now, my amateur, my amateur individual, chairman of 365 and Vietnam and president of Vietnam International Entrepreneur Networking Club, Phi Prima. So, over to you, Mr. Kerr. So good, uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and dear distinguished guests, and also my married to all fans here, and Mr. Atua. Yes, uh, welcome all the people here. I'm very delighted to uh, make this speech uh, uh, this morning. So uh, this is the first time uh, we came for a tradition in uh, World Food India. And uh, we are so excited. I, I cannot believe that uh, so many people come to our Vietnam pavilion. And uh, like uh, a few days, uh, two days, uh, I, I think at least, you know, one day we have 5,000 people come to our booth. And uh, we are very <laughs> proud that, like, uh, we are most crowded uh, booth in the whole fire. Uh, so today is. Uh, uh, I would like to make some presentation for uh, Vietnam and India. So the first thing I want to mention that uh, Vietnam and India is a comprehensive strategic partner. And you can see that uh, our father of nation, Mr. Ho Chi Minh, also come to meet your uh, president of India from 1958. This is, we have long history for relationship between two countries. Yes. Next slide, please. And a few years ago, your president also came to Vietnam to meet our general secretary. And just one month ago, your minister of foreign affairs also came to Ho Chi Minh City. This is very good signal from both countries because we are a comprehensive strategic partner and also the more that we get strengthen our relationship. Next slide, please. So, uh, I am the president of BIENC. So, we have uh, also the mission. This is the first mission we networking, sharing, liver up, and social responsibility. That's the reason why we also invite a lot of uh, company, Vietnam company to join World Food India in this time. So today my presentation, we just give you some information about uh, FDI to Vietnam and India investment and tourism in Vietnam. And the third, Vietnam is an attractive investment of the native destination. And the last one, why Vietnam attracts so many FDI from the world. So, and you can see that the overview of Vietnam economic and FDI float from 2006 and 2022. Even we facing the COVID-19, but our economy, total import export value reached 730 billion US dollar. This is a very good amount. Even uh, we facing. COVID-19, we also facing the, uh, hard, the difficult time of economy. And uh, at the moment, we have uh, more than 140 countries have invested into Vietnam with a total of more than 36,000 projects. 
from all FDI to Vietnam. And this data I just take from the uh, Ministry of Trade. Yes, this is along, I think from Mr. Hui. And you can see that this is an overview of Vietnam economy and FDI float. So you can see in this slide, you can see who is the countries have the most investment in Vietnam. So you can see that now Korea, Singapore, Japan, Taiwan, Hong Kong, China, and Viet India is not in is not in this list. But I believe that you know one or two years later, uh, India will be in this list. I think I believe that in top five in few years later. And this is very clear. You can see this is a total investment of India to Vietnam. So this is the data from 2021. So we can see that uh, the total investment one billion US dollar, and most of uh, investment are focusing on manufacturing industries and uh, mining and production distribution, electric, gas, water and air conditioning. This is uh, the number from 2010 to one. But last year, the trade import export between two countries increased 15 billion US dollar. And increase comparing to the 2021, increased nearly 14% between two countries. So you can see India has invested more than 350 projects with a total investment 1 billion in 2021. But last year, like I mentioned, more than that already. And this slide you can see very clearly about the, what type of product Vietnam export to India and India export to Vietnam. And the total uh, bilateral trade over from two countries. So here, yeah, you can see that. Now Vietnam export a lot of smartphone, uh, computer, electricity, machinery to India. And India export to Vietnam like iron, steel, machinery, corn, agricultural product, marine foods also. And just a few months ago, underneath the big, very big uh, group from Vietnam also came to Vietnam for announced investment, 3 billion. Our Prime Minister. And uh, one week ago, we also had the Noctis Festival, and a batch from Noctis also come with a few hundred people to come to Vietnam. Just one week ago. And uh, now we come to the slide why Vietnam attracted that dimension. The first thing we have very good location and political environment stable. And like we have also competitive product cost. And you can see that we have like 8.4 why Vietnam to be attractive investment destination. From 1993 until 2022, Vietnam have connected with the world by signing 15, 15 FTAs with all over the world. The reason why because you now a lot of investors come coming to Vietnam for investment because from Vietnam you can export with with the tax less than other countries. Because now we can see that we have five, we have signed 15 FTA free trade agreement with all over the world. So 
If you have any investor, so please come to Vietnam for investment. This is a very good opportunity for in Indian investor also. And this slide, uh, within 20 years from 2000, and you can see until uh, 2000, sorry, 2021, it's not uh, 2000, 2022, this is the wrong number. So our, our turnover of import, export turnover reached to 730 billion US dollar from our countries. This is the new update data from the custom. Yes. And the most thing I would like to mention in this my presentation, this is the Indian tourism travel to Vietnam is booming. Last year we can we can count by subject department. We have 139,000 uh, tourism from India to Vietnam. Yeah, this is the, the, the volume of uh, last year. So you can see that a lot of people from travel company, the people from India, they look in the Google and they see uh, they would like to come to Vietnam and most of them choose uh, Ho Chi Minh City, Hanoi, Phukot Islands, Ho An, Dala City. And if you fly by WeChat or Vietnam Allies, like my, my college, Mr. Hill from General of Vietnam Allies, I would like to mention him, him here. So Mr. Hill, welcome all of them. This is my General Managers of Vietnam Allies. Mr. Hill, yes. So the reason I mentioned that because you know now a, a lot of tourism, Indian tourism come to Vietnam. And when I came to the into the flight airplane, full passengers. And this is this is 2022, nearly 140,000 Indian tourism. But do you know how how many how many? Indian tourism in this 2023s. So I think this is very good number later, I will mention later. And, and now, just a few weeks ago, Agora CEO had the meeting and they recall that, you know, like, uh, they has increased 390% rise of Indian outbound travel shop Vietnam from, we come back from 2019 to, to 2020s. It's been increased, nearly 400% of Indian tourism, tourism company would like to come to Vietnam. And you see that between Thai, uh, Thailand, Singapore, Indonesia, Vietnam is the top for Indian to come increase compared with uh, 2019 yes before 19 covid covid 19 yes so i think like all of you in here half of uh, half of the room have came to vietnam already so did you come to vietnam already yes so in the next month you need to come sir you see vietnam very beautiful countries Now Vietnam number one, sir. Yeah, yes. And this is a very interesting number. So last year we had 140, 140 uh, Indian tourism came to Vietnam. And in this year, do you know how much if we count from January until now? Can you guess to me like 200,000, 300,000, 400,000, and 500,000. Yes. So this year, you know, the number will be over 500,000. This is an 
it's not, it's not from my, my speaking, but it's not from the data. But until now, we nearly reached 400,000 already. Yeah, Indian tourism, this is the, the number also from immigra immigration police. So this means that this increased nearly more than 200 percent. Mr. Bui is working very hard. Yes, just become Mr. Bui and, and our ambassador. Well, you know, all of us in here, like our consulate general, embassy, and Mr. Bui, make a lot of things for make people, make Indian tourism came to Vietnam. Yeah, bravo for him. And the uh, last one, I just, uh, why Vietnam is uh, so good for, attractive for MPI? Why Korean, Japan, Singapore, Hong Kong, many big countries came to Vietnam for investment? Yes. So, like you, I, can, I can mention very clear the point in here. So now our government to try to uh, open the sky and give many good policy for own investor. And that's the reason why the uh, FDI float coming to Vietnam more the more better. Yeah, you can see why Vietnam is so attractive. Like our uh, leader said, Vietnam is like the beautiful lady, so a lot of people want to come. <laughs> yes, uh, like we also have a competitive labor cost, but you know, I think India is, is more better than us about the competitive labor cost. Now also a lot of company from overseas, I can, I, I can, I can rely that a lot of big company come to India for investment. Then uh, uh, I think one or two months ago, VinFast, the, the big, big car company from Vietnam, also came to v India for looking for the uh, factory car. This is a very good signal from both countries. Yeah. Uh, this is some uh, law investment, some uh, law for enterprise. We just changing for create more opportunity for uh, foreigner investment. This is uh, something like a uh, uh, legal framework we apply for the new company come to Vietnam. We can guess like uh, uh, discount 10% uh, tax for 13 years, something like that from our government. And this is why like very good slide, I just want to show you. In this slide, then this from a very famous uh, newspaper, they mentioned that India will be the third biggest economic over time for next year. And of course, I always believe that India will be number two and number one a few years later. And uh, also for Mao Vietnam International Internal Networking, we also very uh, keen to, would like to uh, cooperate with the company doing the logistic, import, export, distribution, and tourism. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Kerr, for very uh, comprehensive and informative uh, presentation. So uh, we will come to you later. Now I invite uh, Mr. Atul Kumar Sassana, the President of Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, who has uh, more than 30 years experience working uh, with Vietnam. He, he has a lot of experience, but uh, due, due, due to the power constant, so uh, uh, Mr. Atul, you, should, uh, you have much more family. And actually, all of us try to know about what's our experience to uh, do business in Vietnam. And number two, how Vietnamese company can invest and do business in India. So thank you. Over to you. We have three options. Either you uh, stand in the podium, you are uh, sitting, or you do like uh, Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Good morning and sin chao to our Vietnamese friends. I thank the Embassy of Vietnam and the Trade Office for organizing this country specific conference today. Unfortunately, because it's so early, so a lot of our Indian friends were confirmed are going to the pavilion straight away and not here. But uh, the interest of Vietnam has increased from the time I was in Vietnam 35 years back. Today, Vietnam is a growing economy with a very stable government. And uh, the best part is that the adaptability and flexibility of Vietnamese people who were adapted from a country which was is still an agricultural processing uh, country to a processing country. Today we have a huge uh, manpower which is engaged in agriculture, especially fruits, which are a uh, destination for India. In India is one of the largest fresh fruit importers in Asia. And we have seen the success of dragon fruit where I was one of the first persons who uh, you know, went to the place where it was grown and then slowly it just started coming. Earlier people used to think that dragon fruit comes from only Vietnam, only from Thailand, but step by step now today Vietnamese dragon fruit is very popular. And the growing shipments show that uh, there is still a great potential. My experience in Vietnam is for many years, as Mr. Bui has just said, and uh, the ease of doing business is I traveled uh, to more than 40 plus countries. The ease of doing business is the highest in Vietnam due to various factors. Uh, one, is, one is the stability of the government, the next is the manpower availability, which is very adaptive to, to learning and skill development. Third is the potential of the country in the sense of agriculture which is uh, the Mekong Delta is famous for. And, and fourth, there is a big scope for joint ventures in the country because they need investment and technology to process the food and other, uh, you can say, industrial products. Today, India imports nearly, I think, uh, $10 billion worth of goods from uh, Vietnam. But out of this, 70% goods are manufactured by multinationals in Vietnam who have set up the factories in Vietnam because of the various factors which I just mentioned. And they are, they are exporting these to India and other markets all over the world. But uh, the 30% are the products which are made in Vietnam and are growing uh, step by step a market in India. And my experience uh, says that uh, anybody who is doing business in Vietnam, there are three opportunities. First is trade, investment, and if you are in travel business, because of the direct flights, the travel business is also a business of the future. Because travel will lead to information and information will lead to trade. If you don't travel, how will you know about the country or the opportunities in that country? So travel and trade are related to each other. When I travel now to Vietnam, recently I have seen the direct flights are all full. Even I am travelling on 14th night of this month to Vietnam. And I had to book my ticket one month in, in advance because this is the peak season. Even my office in Ho Chi Minh City couldn't find a hotel for my delegation. I am leading a delegation to Vietnam from uh, 14th uh, of this month. And uh, that just shows the interest of Indians towards Vietnam as a potential partner in terms of trade. Mr. Kun has already spoken about India's relations in terms of political and all long standing strategic partnership, in which I would not like to talk on this, because already he has given a very good presentation on Vietnam economy, FDI, and ease of doing business and relationship. I would like to just mention to our Indian friends here that Vietnam is a destination for the future and one should have a local partner that is very essential because a local partner is, is the one who will uh, lead you to the right destination in terms of business as well as trade. 
And for Vietnamese, the Indian market is very big. And uh, I was earlier having a company, still that company is this. And we were doing business in Oman. So we were importing juice from Oman. And you would be surprised the factory production was completely bought by us. 100% of what they were making in Oman uh, was bought by us. That, that just shows the Indian market. And they had to put up a new factory for the domestic NGCC countries. So the potential of food industry in, in Vietnam and also imports into India is, is, is uh, phenomenal. But the right uh, way to do is to have a consultant who could help you for various regulatory uh, uh, affairs. You should have a good legal system here who would tell you about IPR, trademarks and various registrations like FASI, etc. Because I was just telling Mr. Bui, we met some Japanese here just now, that they, they have been trying to export food products to India for last 15 years and they have not been successful. The reason is about the packaging and also the Japanese language they use in the, in the packaging. And the taste of the Indian people is not uh, similar to the Japanese. So these are the very important uh, uh, ideas or you can say the pointers to the Indian market. One should know what the taste. Today Indonesia is one of the largest exporters of biscuits to India. In Indonesian biscuits imports is 30% of total Indian consumption. So you can imagine how many millions of dollars of biscuits are coming from one country like Indonesia. Because these, these companies who are doing this business had chamber as their consultant and we had told them how to do the packaging and what type of biscuits, etc. So I would like to just thank again Mr. Pui and Mr. Khan from the Trade Office and the Embassy for organizing this. And always we are there to help you. Our resident representative from Ho Chi Minh City, Ms. Gain, she is here. And she is with, uh, with us for the last 15 years plus and she now heads the IACC Vietnam, like we have IACC India registered body, IACC Vietnam is a registered body in Vietnam, where today we have nearly 300 members. I also thank Mr. Kuhn to come to India. Uh, the chamber has recently signed an MOU when our delegation visited Ho Chi Minh City in the office of the Consul General of India in Ho Chi Minh, Ho Chi Minh City. And I also thank uh, Mr. Madan Mohan Sechi for helping Mr. Kuhn and guiding him for this trip. Even a representative of the consulate, Mr. Thorne, has come, but I don't see him around. Could be his unique, could be his interest. So, thank you again, and welcome to India. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ali, for your opportunity. I think you have many, many other experience who uh, uh, wins our uh, career, but uh, you will be to uh, the time constant. So, I will come back uh, to you again during your Q&A session. Uh, Actually, we would, uh, would like to, uh, like to know more about the experience. So uh, now I would like to invite Mr. Wilkhaibon, CEO of the Dragon Fruit. And after Mr. Lund, I would like to invite Mr. Wilson Hong, uh, CEO of the Kula Office. Yeah, over to you, Mr. Lund. Yeah. Do you have any bread? Yes, yes, yes. So you should cut down five minutes, please. Yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Bui Phương Thường. Good morning, Mr. David Phương Thường and uh, Mr. A.K. Uh, Sassina, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is uh, Bui Phương Thường, so I'm the founder uh, and CEO of the Dragon uh, uh, Dictionary uh, Corporation. My topic uh, today, I would like to report to everyone. So we have a, a survey from Brian to be a quick game. Yeah, why Brian? Because Vietnam, we are to be happy the number two country in terms of the export Brian around the world. Yeah. 
GFR number one and number two. Uh, it took me over 14 years uh, to uh, do it, research, and uh, I found the name. And uh, I have a formula, my short firm company, that is DDCC. DDCC, that means the elite energy. That means right, mark the wiki, mark the people, energy. <laughs> yeah. But, oh. Yeah, uh, I, I think you know that, but the best life is learn for that. <laughs> Let's say that how the agriculture revolution, the people about 10,000 years ago, we start to hunting to be the farmer. That is really that the new. Uh, revolution of our world and our life. So the people, when they farming, they have uh, more food, they keep the food, and they can give the food for the another purpose. One of the purpose that is to be marked one. In the book of the uh, repository of the uh, humankind, uh, Victor uh, Harry, he said that, so the Sabo Homo sapiens to be that the uh, 10,000 years, to be that the uh, agriculture revolution, and mark that the people farming and people can keep the food. That reason why we have that in the world food in the, uh, all the people think about food for more than 10,000 years ago. And in the my life, I have uh, that in the line the history of the work, Sick the lab. You see that? The beer, the people know how to make the beer about 8,000 years ago. For the wine, the people know how to make the wine 6,000 years ago. And spirit, that is almost that is 2,500 years ago. It means that from the people being, they already know how to make alcohol. So that is the nature of the food, the right, and the living. <laughs> yeah. And you see that in the all that our history that we have uh, the lack of wine. And uh, this is the nature to be that the alcohol. But I would say that in the science, how it looks like when we have a uh, Rest why they want to make it stronger. That the one of the people, he named that Anna Villanova, he believed that the water, the children from why that is one of the people that did the aqua vita. So that guy, I think, that did back the people, it prolonged life and defer the heart and maintain the younger. And uh, I would say that Vietnam that is colonized by French and one of the scientists that is Louis Vachter, he is a chemist, uh, myobiology, and also uh, he found the uh, microbiology of the foundation. So that is he is uh, the father to mark that the lactic gel to refine that the, the from the sugar, the lugo, to be that the alcohol. So we cheer for our wonderful silence. And in that principle, so anything comes from glucose and sugar, we can turn that is not the good thing. So this one that is taught me to go to the that is understanding process. So you see that in most of the children we get that the alcohol from the 65 to 30 percent. And you see that it is changed the atmosphere on the people to put that in the barrel. Like the uh, uh, cognac, let's say that they lose 2% per year. If they aging 20 years, that means that they own the half of the loss in the barrel. That reason why you buy the whiskey cognac, uh, long life, that is very expensive. And the room 
Do you see that? Uh, they lost about 10%, so that means five years a half loss. And we go around the world, what another country they do? Like the cognac, they have uh, the barrel, they have a uh, uh, protein, the barrel, so the aging almost not the uh, two and a half year in the term of the cognac and amanya. And in terms of the wiki, so for the law, they need to put minimum three year in the barrel. They do the brand new barrel. And the color food that it comes from, that it caramel from the barrel. When the wiki, they go to the United States, they call that the bourbon. Bourbon that is made from cock. So in the bourbon, they also aging about two years. So that means we go around the world, we see that French mark cognac from rust, the whiskey and the bourbon, the bourbon when they go to the United States, they mark from cost. That means when we have an ASEAN like the Vietnam, India, we have a lot of pride. We need to have a, a new thing for our people, for them. Anyway, in the Vietnam, we happy, we did. We bought in, we win, we get married, we ring, we divorce, we also win. <laughs> but, but that, I would say that the drinking that it confirm that it from the people living, it's not new, it's not old, that it together with the, our people. When we party, we drink. However, how we have a qualified of the ring and we have a that is responsibility of the ring that is much, much important than we control the people. So that is the principle of the mind methodology. And you see that how Vietnam, uh, we innovation, devolution of the uh, government. In Vietnam, we have a uh, uh, Aging, so to have uh, that is 40% of the alcohol. <coughs> Vietnam, we go that we have a uh, humidity high and also temperature also high. We go to 8 to 10% each year. We compare with the Western, they have a lot about 2% each year. So that means 3 year aging in Vietnam, that means we equal with 13 years in the Western, we have a fear will be version only three years. That is the time we do faster, winter. That is depend on the human visit. That is what Vietnam, India, we have that kind of favor. And you see that the ingredient, we have a just the little alcohol go to 60 to 65 percent. So that is time, faster, and qualified, also beautiful. Philosophy to mark Ruga Ngọc You know that the Ru, that means that the uh, drink, spirit. Uh, gạo, that means dry. A new Vietnam, we have a Ru Gao. So, similar to uh, Japan, they call the Sake, Korea, they call the Zoju. And China, they call the Baju. Baju, uh, people may don't know, but they Mao Thai. That is a kind of trend of the menu. And I think that's what the uh, Ravan Ritchie leader we do now so that they, we have a binding with the economy, grow of Vietnam with the people and with the quality of life. So, three key things of the promotion of the our product. You see that the, the, when we drink something made in, in the, our country, the mark our crowd. And we have a product to have a bring that culture, and that is on the fellowship. And the rest, that is, we have a, some that is nature, beautiful rice from Vietnam. And you see that we bring that the culture, traditional, into the drink for the international meeting to see the people. And here we have a one very good mark from black rice. I think that in India, you also have a similar black rice. And we also have a violet rice. In the western, they have a rosé white. Vietnam, we have a violet rice. So similar to the starter. And floating rice. And 
So this is the one of the uh, traditional Vietnamese lady usually mark a wife for her husband to mark the family happy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, actually, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Norman, uh, who has also uh, the, the very big uh, uh, home uh, book in uh, Hall of Fame. So after uh, we have conversation, uh, we invite you all to come to his house to test uh, the wine. And how uh, if you... And then we are going to receive your feedback by tomorrow morning. So thank you very much for all of you. So now I would like to invite Mr. Wilson Hai, Vice President of uh, CEO of Kung Lao Fist. Hall number five, it's back of Vietnam government. Hall number five, C03. C03. So yeah, I yeah. also bring a lot of the dragon food, the king of dragon food, so please come and try. Yeah, I see my idea. Uh, now we're going to eat my uh, Mita. Mita, I also have family in Maximum, we're back in Mita. After that, I'm going to have to uh, advise the most beautiful speaker, please, <laughs> Arlene. Yeah, then after Mita has this. Yeah, please, my turn is off. Be parents off. Hello, uh, thank you uh, everybody uh, come to meeting and conference. We have a very, I am very happy, uh, my company is very happy to attend for this uh, meeting and uh, conference. Uh, thank you. And uh, thank you Mr. Asar Sina, thank you Mr. Sina, and thank you Mr. Kung, and uh, uh, invite our company to come here to have an opportunity to attend, to talk something about uh, my business and uh, to talk about my having some uh, uh, project and uh, opportunity to work and come together in the, uh, uh, the Indian community and uh, on the people uh, on the world. Uh, I, um, this, uh, I introduce something about my company. <coughs> is, uh, my name is Dahai. Is the uh, is your case, the name is the family name is the Wenzhen Hai. I am uh, from C Office Company. C Office Company is a specialist for farm farming and uh, processing and uh, bangasu. This is the we could be called is the basa. It's the very famous is all the world. I think it's the other India uh, is also to to know about this because I know this the fish also to. To farm with a small quantity is uh, India. Uh, I am uh, very happy to introduce about more about uh, my company. Uh, my company is the uh, start from is the, uh, the family company. My father is the exactly the, my father is the in law. Is the is the I introduce my wife, uh, Mrs. Luan. Uh, this is my wife. Uh, she is the president. Resident of CFS is the, uh, my father-in-law very famous in Vietnam for farming fish, especially the Bangladeshi fish. Uh, this is no, I, I know this, uh, the government, uh, Indian government very interesting for this uh, Basa, Bangladeshi farming in, Vietnam, in, Tha, in India. I have many friends, uh, the partner in India, uh, want to come with me, uh, invite me to come to see and to see some land in the India. But I have no chance to come because I'm very busy. Uh, but this time I come and I have a just uh, give us some idea. I hope the only people and uh, the government, some officer here to uh, maybe assist me for some information about my idea in the future with the corporate together with the, some uh, partner in the India for develop for farming, processing and uh, export for the local markets in India, very big uh, demand, and also for all the world. Uh, actually, uh, return my company is a C office. The, my farm fa father is very is uh, experienced for uh, at least for thirty five year experience for farming Bangladeshi in Vietnam. He is the number one, and uh, for the first person is the farming Bangladeshi in Vietnam with the industry uh, level. Uh, before Vietnam is only a small farming Bangladesh for a small uh, farm. I think it's also the same in India now. 
the same of the same situation. I see some um, the video for the 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 the, the, the flock the, the bio flock uh, farming in uh, India. Very small, very small uh, bargasus. I hope that uh, uh, this is uh, can develop with uh, India. If you, if you uh, the government India to conceive uh, to develop this is the same in Vietnam. Uh, about my companies, uh, we are start from the uh, the farm. What is the for the farm? We supply for uh, the for the gas uh, supply for the factory. Uh, uh, some factory is the first uh, export to all the world with the Basan name. Uh, when we uh, become the, from the first and the big farmer in Vietnam for farming the gas uh, we very success. And after that, when the, the Bangasus is the, uh, uh, famous and is spread all the world, and uh, my my uh, family uh, to consider invest for the factory, and uh, 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 you all the people to see that the uh, Basa now is the number one. It's the Bangasus number one fish in the in all the world now. No country to can uh, farm the same quantity like the Bangasus. This is the very I think this the. Uh, the government to, uh, and uh, all the, uh, the, the company in India can see that it uh, interest for farming uh, processing because of some area in uh, in India it the same as the weather of Vietnam. This is uh, the key I think I mentioned in this uh, meeting. About the, my companies, uh, when I uh, farming and as for processing, I we uh, now we uh, have a three factory uh, with a corporate chain. That's a complete change. The mean we uh, start from uh, uh, farming and feed meal and processing and export. We are now start also we export for uh, for over eighty uh, country uh, all the world. Uh, my company is that is also the main supplier for many many uh, the big group on the world, especially in the. I also supply for uh, I think the in here the Lulu market. Lulu market in the India. I supply for them. I met the uh, Mr. Sek, uh, Sekhin. Uh, he is the, the director, country director in the, in the Saudi meeting in the two weeks ago. We talk about uh, some processing uh, together in, in Vietnam. And I also to talk with him uh, about some idea with uh, uh, in India also. Uh, <coughs> And uh, my company also the, the, the main supply for Walmart. You know, it's the only people must uh, to know about Walmart. I am the number one to supply for them now uh, still, because uh, this is uh, we uh, uh, very famous for with uh, the picture. Uh, now is the I also to see uh, to to introduce uh, introduce some of the picture picture of the my company and also the picture for the farming. That you are only be able to see, understand. Uh, I not mention so much about uh, my company. I much to show about um, the my company, like the 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 res uh, residency for Vietnam farming. Uh, only be able to can see the how to uh, process it, but but get you why of the Vietnam. Not just to mention many my company. It's uh, on the same, and also uh, see some picture and video for uh, farming. At the, the farm, you can see the farm is the, the big. I think uh, if uh, nobody come to Vietnam to see the farming, you can see cannot see how to for farming one farm one thousand ton. This is no no reason. Uh, only people to see this is the farm you see in the video. The same like the system like the same like this. This is the, my farm. Is uh, we we uh, we farm is the, now we have about uh, one hundred and forty hectare for farming the gasus. The bangers the farm must have uh, the system because uh, one area but uh, nearly the river and uh, have uh, the system for the the, the the channel to change the water every day and uh, the, 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 the poor water must come from the river this is uh, very important because it clear the water and uh, after chain, uh, after the third to the board or the board and the other side is the chain the, the water waste water is the come from come out 
and uh, the treatment water. The farm is the uh, most uh, for farming uh, for the, the, the feeding. The, uh, the feeding is the every day for two times, in the morning and uh, in the afternoon. This is the, depend on the, the, the period of the farming. The period of the farming is about uh, it uh, depend on the, the, the nutrition uh, uh, diet for the fish because the baby fish and uh, uh, the profits are uh, a little different and uh, the, the, the different life is uh, the, 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 the human. The baby eat uh, the different uh, the profits. And uh, the fish uh, now is in Vietnam farm for fish about uh, uh, 10 and uh, maybe the, the 12, depending on the weather and the location is the farm. It's uh, almost uh, 10 months for, uh, for, for harvest. Uh, one is the fish of uh, after harvest is uh, one, one, 1.2 kilo. Uh, now I uh, mentioned to the, my factory to see some uh, some uh, uh, this, uh, the, the picture and thank you so much for this and I hope the the, the all the people and uh, uh, this uh, in this meeting I also to to have uh, some uh, idea and project because uh, this is uh, I also uh, to see a uh, little uh, uh, enough to say about uh, the invest. Uh, investment in uh, India. I'm very interesting. I say uh, I have uh, some uh, question uh, to talk with, uh, with him about uh, some uh, some support of the government. What is the something I need uh, uh, clearly or detail? Uh, you can see this from my factory. It's uh, my factory to see the processing in my factory. And this is the this video is uh, repaired by Walmart, not from me not from my, my, my company. It's the uh, uh, video for Walmart on the world. They, they make the video, they, 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 they believe in the uh, Walmart system. This means uh, Walmart system on the world to see uh, the video. Uh, he chose my factory to do this because uh, we, you know, it's the, my company now, the, all the, uh, the, 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 the quality certificates, now we have about 10 certificates all the world. The uh, international for the seafood I got all the world is from uh, uh, Europe and uh, USA, Asia and Hala, every uh, certificate we have we got. This is the, the key for my company very successful in, uh, uh, in the international. That, that's why uh, all the people on the world want to go and pick me for for develop for express for farming and processing in uh, some country. I have uh, some uh, proposal for the government from uh, Saudi and Qatar and Kuwait and UAE. They they want to invest and change for technology for everything in uh, in Saudi, UAE and Kuwait. This is uh, uh, we also to to continue. But uh, uh, one one means uh, from uh, my company not uh, not uh, cannot uh, develop to fit the big project. So that we are very happy and open for all the, uh, the big uh, partner for develop this uh, project, especially in Ordo, also India. Uh, we have uh, have uh, some uh, one one uh, proposal with the company in the Danan, Danan Kuwait. Uh, this uh, the origin from India. They they invite me to come to India to invest for farming, build the fisheries, uh, fishery. Uh, fish meal and like this, uh, and uh, they invite me to see some uh, location, um, but I'm not sure for the time because uh, I have uh, to talk with them. Uh, I have a uh, free time for July, last July, but uh, we are this year so busy for the other some uh, seafood exhibition. Uh, you can see is the in my factory for the the, the, the machinery to see system. The, the machinery system is a uh, all the most uh, very good system. And this, uh, on this uh, exhibition, I have uh, some uh, big company for the machinery from uh, India. They, they visit my booth and they ask me for some, introduce some uh, machinery produced from, uh, uh, from India. And uh, they also too uh, happy if you, we have, uh, they, they have uh, 
time to uh, to visit my factory to see how to uh, machinery to uh, to uh, to working and they have a hope to uh, opportunity to supply the machine for for us because uh, uh, we 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 know and uh, they know is uh, my company very famous for the quality and they know is the we what is the machine I invest what is the, the system I invest this is the on the why this is the on the people like to come with me for uh, some project. Uh, sorry to interrupt you because we have question so. Uh, can you, you have one more, maximum one more minute. Uh, you can finish now because uh, uh, we have, because after this session we have another country session. So okay, thank you, thank you. It's, uh, so Johnny does, uh, I show only this and uh, some information I need to talk direct with uh, Mr. Serena for about the uh, information. Okay, thank you very much. Actually, uh, Kula also has a big group there. So you are only welcome to, uh, to the whole of the so we can have more discussion. Now we are invited to Ali, which is the director general of Harbor. You have, you have only a maximum of three minutes, not better than two minutes. Thank you. Yes, uh, I just only asked you to give me only two minutes only. So, I'm so dear Mr. Kuma and this everyone here. I'm so happy to see you again, to see my sister. And all before I have been rich, so uh, before I'm the uh, artist. And I just be a young enterprise for three years. So my family have a coffee land, and we export raw material to China, to Laos, Cambodia, and we also racing for B. So this time I come here with the ginseng honey. So I come here to show things for Kashmir saffron. We gonna promote the uh, saffron honey. So I just want to tell you that uh, our tech office is so good and Mr. Bu Chung Tu and Mr. Khan, they are not only the leader, they are also the real worker and set up for our pavilion before we come here. So just I thank you so much for this time. So this time if is there anyone want to connect with us, Please just connect to our brother. Please don't hesitate. And I believe that with our effort to work in hard for both sides, Vietnam and India, we will be get back after COVID time and we'll be together, develop together. I'm sure with that. I thank you from bottom of my heart to helping me from both sides. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Let's be, uh, thank you for being with us. Uh, as you know that you also have another program, but uh, you accept our invitation. So, uh, actually we have uh, many other speakers, but I uh, would the chance to invite Mr. Ravin Nandasina, the director of NSME, in this forum. You also have possible two minutes. Namaste, thank you so much, uh, the Embassy of Vietnam in India and Mr. Kong, yes. especially for the presentation that you have given. There are two reasons for that. Number one, you made me nostalgic because when you showed the President of India's photograph, I come from the same clan. Already. He happens to be my great grandfather. And, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the presentation that we saw from Vietnam, I forgot that that was being given by a Vietnam official or that was being given by an Indian. So it was so good, it was so attractive and also I must thank Mr. Bui, Mr. Khan and all the staff of Vietnam Embassy for bridging the best relationship between India and Vietnam. Before I say another two minutes, there is a gesture we have to follow because Mr. Kung, you, 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 yes. Yes. Sorry? Okay. I represent the, 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 I represent the small and medium businesses in India. You all who have come here are also part of the small and medium businesses. Remember one thing. In India and Vietnam, we have a lot of commonalities. The commonalities is food. At every occasion, remember one thing. India and Vietnam, remember, whenever we are happy, whenever we get up, whenever we are walking, we want food. And 
your foods, your fresh foods are in great demand here. Because let me tell you, let me tell you, we have only seen one province which is Delhi. Ladies and gentlemen, the small and medium businesses of Vietnam, the entire province in India, entire province in India, that is 1.3 billion is your actual market. Let me tell you, you were, I was just seeing the fish market here. The entire east, the entire south India is a very big fish consumer. We have seen fruits. Ladies and gentlemen, the fruits is entire India. Our day starts with fruits and a lot of times our afternoon and later evening also ends with fruits. That is one area. But apart from that, Mr. Kung, I just wanted to say as a forum, we have a lot of inquiries for investment in Vietnam, especially in the field of electronic chip manufacturing component, the copper, the manufacturing segments, the, the segment where that because you are importing a lot of telecom instruments from uh, products from Vietnam to India. And since you all are from the food industry, I would say, please come to us and open your franchises here. Do partnerships here. Your products needs to be taken to multiple provinces in India. That can only happen when you as a small and medium businesses and we in India, again as a small and medium business, partner together, take your product from one, one province to the other province. It's something like you cannot every time travel to Chennai, travel to other places, but your partnerships that happens here. And I can tell you that partnership we at MSME Business Forum India and Mr. Saxena here and our team here, uh, Kavita ji and Namrata ji, will, these are the people that we are ready to help you in, in collaborating with the Indian partners. Your products needs to be going to places. And I can tell you the demand, the quality that you are making. Whenever there is an invite by Mr. Bowie and the Vietnamese uh, embassy and Mr. Khan, let me tell you, the real associations are very happy because we both have a lot of things in common. I would once again say, now is the time for collaborations and partnerships. Now is the time when your product comes to us, when we sell your products in India, we take it to Indians, we take it to multiple provinces. And that is how we can take your products. Sir, if you're saying that 5,000 people visited your uh, stall, it's very less. With you staying for another two days, it should have been 15,000. Because if tourism is increasing, your footfall in the stall will also increase. That's the demand. And for your distillery also, let me tell you, there will be more than 10,000 footfalls there also. So, thank you so much. It was a pleasure, pleasure introducing the small and medium businesses. And I would once again thank Mr. Bui. He is real hero of, uh, I think, Vietnam because every time he's so popular and Mr. Khan and the entire staff that we are more than happy to support, to refer to any of your queries. Thank you very much. Namaste. Thank you, thank you very much. There are very excited about you, Vietnam. No, really sorry, sir. Even I don't have time to say time to it and every one of uh, you here. Uh, so while we wait on behalf of the Embassy of Vietnam, uh, uh, we would like to express our uh, deepest uh, gratitude to all the uh, lady, beautiful ladies and gentlemen who are present here. Actually, uh, we also have uh, Mr. Rekha Sakma from uh, Indian uh, Energy Association, Madam here. And we also have Mr. Navin Sakma from Vasli and Madam Chaudi and Mr. Vast. Uh, and gentlemen here. But uh, due, due to the time, uh, so uh, uh, we would like to thank you very much and uh, we look forward to receive you all in uh, hall number five, Vietnam Pavilion, and we have more discussions there. So thank you very much. Uh, yes, uh, my, my uh, Mr. Lin and uh, Mr. Girl and uh, Mr. Wang, Miss Wang, Miss Wang, Miss Wang, please come to step uh, and Mr. Girl. Now we would like to first step uh, by Indian Chinese tradition. Can I get the Please, first. I would request Mr. Ruta and Kavita uh, Ji to please come. Come, please, the lady.
what if you need this piece? Thank you.